23 minutes uh, to two. Simon Owens, my colleague here at the radio station, has come in because uh, you are the official archivist slash historian. Yes, that's correct. Uh, of, for 3AW. Of 3AW, the Melbourne studios of Australia overnight. Yes. Um, and yes, you're asking about things that people have souvenired. My very short answer to that, what have I souvenired from, uh, the, from the buildings of 3AW, is everything. I actually have, I have a storage king unit. Yeah. Um, which, which, uh, just a, a big empty square box that is full of stuff that I have pilfered uh, from this. From no, not, that you're not curating. Oh, well, well, exactly. That's that's what I tell people. Yeah. Uh, truth is, it's got a combination lock on it, and I'm the only one who knows the combo. Uh, so it's all mine. What um, sort of stuff were you talking? About six years ago, uh, the Melbourne studios moved from Bank Street to Docklands. Yeah. And they had a big skip out the back of the building where everything was just being thrown out that, that wouldn't make it to the move because yep. the new premises were smaller premises. And that's, that's happened at many, many places. 2UE have yeah. suffered the same thing. Um, so I used to, because I worked the evening shift and I finish at midnight, I'd take my larger of my two cars to work. Yeah. I'd pop the boot open. I'd climb into the skip and just fish things out that yeah. people had thrown out that I thought were of historical interest. I, I've got I've got things like uh, a couple of reel to reel machines, yeah. some cart machines, yep. boxes and boxes of old interviews and things that were done that were recorded on reels when we used to use that as the recording format. Yeah, the best thing I got was a an old booklet, you know, the, the very big uh, sort of uh, hardcover ledger book. Yep. That that had been sitting in a storage area downstairs that no one had looked at for years. Mm. And this, this had been turfed out, and I found this in the, the skip, and I've opened it up, and inside the very first uh, page were uh, the words, um, something along the lines of uh, a meeting that was convened, and these were the minutes of the meeting, yeah. to form the radio station 3AW. And, uh, present at the present at this meeting, and all in beautiful yeah. handwritten ink. Present at this meeting, so and so from J C Williamson's, which is the production theatre company where the W comes uh, from. Yeah. Three A W. Yeah. Jeffrey um, uh, uh, Syme from the Age, which is part uh, of yes. where the A comes from. But the other A was Allen's as well. Allen's yeah. music. Um, uh, so, uh, I've I've actually got the minutes of the founding of the radio station in which, this book, which would have been lost. Uh, to this radio station, if you hadn't been if I dived. hadn't found it, yes, uh, I have been offered or dumpster dive, as they call it. I have been offered five grand to hand that book over to a collector who's interested in uh, radio history. Yeah, I have said no. Um, it will remain the property of the station, or more so, the property of me. If yeah. the station is not be buried with it. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, but I've got uh, so, so yes, I've, I've collected quite a few things over the years. So any any time we have a big promotion. Yeah, in the building, uh, and there's you know, big posters and things done up. As soon as the promotion's a few weeks old and it's looking a little tired, and they're looking at the next promotion, I pilfer them from around the building and yeah. tuck them away in the storage king unit. Well, see, that's a, that's a, a noble undertaking. Oh, it, it is. I have I have a, a particular fondness. If if I had if I have a dream that could come true when my on-air career finishes, yeah, not too far away. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I would love to be the Macquarie Radio Network's historian. Yeah. So I would love to do the same for UE, uh, who, whose name comes from, it used to, originally it was 2EU. It's the oldest radio station, the oldest commercial radio station in the country is 2UE. Yeah. Originally 2EU, which was named after uh, Electrical Utilities. Oh, it was a, a company nice. that some bloke owned. Yeah. And he decided to build a radio station and it broadcast from his lounge room. I'm pretty sure this is the history. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so 2EU was named after his business, which was Electrical Utilities. And then when was it flipped? Uh, it was flipped because of the, the announcers found it too hard to EU. say, welcome to 2EU. It 2EU. Was just, yeah, fair enough. 2UE yeah, just rolls off the tongue so beautifully. Yeah. And that's, I, I get cross because we've lost, like, four... Uh, we've got 4BC in Brisbane, Yeah. of course, who are part of the Macquarie Network as well. Great. Barry but, Crocker, uh, another that the name of that? No, I, no? I, I actually don't know where, where okay. that one came from. But we lost 4BH. 4BH has been renamed Magic. And yeah. I understand, you know, the, these day and age networking and all that sort of stuff. But 4BH was a great brand name for all those years and in the wink of an eye, gone, because you know, they just relabel it to fit in with, you know, the new image. Yeah. That sort of thing makes me very sad.
So who was making the decision to throw this great stuff out? Or was it just, um, I don't know what to do with it, um, it's just better gone than, than it, it be my problem? It was, I think, quite literally a case of, OK, staff, we're moving soon. Everyone look around your office. Yep. Here's your boxes to put stuff in. Take what you need. Throw out what you don't. So it was left to the individuals. Oh, and, of course, in, in radio, there's a lot of, you know, the older people are all on air. The production staff are all generally in their 20s. Yeah. So none of them have any idea of the history of the places. Yep. And I was the same when I started. Sure, but, yeah, we uh, all are. When, when I first started, we were playing radio serials on a program called Remember When. Yeah. And you know, 26 hours, of, you know, Gregory Keane things. And, and I'm, I'm listening to this stuff. Saying, Why on earth are we playing this? Biggles. Why are we playing Biggles about a pilot? Now I have... a, a much better understanding of how important that history yeah. is. Mm. Well, it, it is a common thing with a lot of organisations. I know with my sister was working for an oil company in Melbourne uh, once and they upgraded their computers and they were about to throw them all out into a dumpster. And they, were, they weren't that old, these computers. Yeah. So um, this is very typical of my sister. She waited till the weekend, came with her car, made about five trips and dropped them off at a school. Yeah, I, I did the same. Some computers out of here. Yeah. Went to a local kindergarten. Um, went to a local basketball club. I don't know if I ever told anyone. Mm, no, your secret's safe with us. <laughs> Tom won't lag on you. Am I right, Tom? No, no, I'm secret safe. Good, good to hear. How's it going, Tom? Good, thanks, Tony. Tony, you know you were talking uh, about the avocados before. Yes. I'm... Oh, before I'm going to put, um, uh, yeah, go. Um, I heard uh, on the, I think it was your station yesterday about this time, that Woolworths has actually been importing uh, avocados from New Zealand ah. to Queensland, to Queensland. And so that might be why they're paying $6 in um, New Zealand, because Woolworths is selling for $1.50 in Queensland. Did you hear that story, Tony? No, I didn't, but Simon has. Simon is across that because yeah. he has a passion for not only radio history, but um, but the export of um, fruit from New Zealand. He's... He's your man. Yes. Okay, so that's... My, my part-time avocado business is just booming. <laughs> yeah. So that's, that's creating a shortage and, um, and sending the prices up. In New Zealand, I think that's what's happened, yeah. So and does that mean, Tom, and I'm, uh, if I read between the lines of what you're saying, that's why we have 600,000 Kiwis living in Australia. They basically <laughs> want to pay less for their avocados. <laughs> Amongst other reasons, yeah. Could be. And also, Tony, you were saying someone said that anything with a seed in it is a fruit. Yeah. What about uh, pumpkins? Over, over to you, Simon. They grow on a vine... So uh, let me think. What's the what's the deal with vine things? I think. Oh yeah, I, I'm, yeah. I'm going to just have to say I don't know. Okay, <laughs> now you got him there. Yeah, I, I would assume I would assume a fruit though, because isn't uh, don't vegetables grow underground? Is that uh, not the, is point. that not the basic rule? No, peas and beans don't. Peas and They're beans have, beans peas and beans have seeds in them. Beans have seeds that would yeah, make them a fruit. But they're vegetables. Yeah, like they've got seeds, and the rule is that seeds mean it's fruit. I don't believe that rule. No, I, yeah. I don't believe that either, no, because how, exactly. do, how do vegetables <laughs> pollinate if they don't have seeds? Yeah. yeah. Mind right. you, carrots don't have seeds. Oh, I'm confused. Yeah. <laughs> I think we all are. Can I go home? <laughs> yes, you can. Thank you. You're off the hook. Thank you, Simon Owens, for uh, showing us the benefits of souveniring and archiving. It is a great thing that you have done. What have you souvenired? 13, 13, 32. It's uh, 13 minutes to two.